Hello everyone. Welcome to Jira training. In this tutorial, we will learn about Jira projects. So Jira project is a collection of issues. As you know, in Jira, you have different types of issues. For example, story, epic, bug, task, subtasks, etc. So collection of all those issues is a Jira project. It's a single place to manage your work. So whatever work you are doing within your project, Jira project will is a, is a single place to manage all the work within that project. You can track all your work within that project. And every project in Jira has a workflow. So you need to track the tasks or stories or whatever um, issue type within your project from initiation to completion and for that you need a workflow to manage the tasks from initiation to completion. Now teams use projects to manage software delivery so depending on which team you are working on you have different versions of Jira available or different softwares available. So you can use different project types to manage the delivery within your project. So for example, if we're working on software team, then you can use Jira software to manage software delivery. Then if you're working in IT help desk, then you can use Jira service desk to manage IT help desk. Right. Then if you are working in a marketing team or HR team, then you can use Jira core software to manage marketing campaign or manage HR operations. And these in turn, like managing HR operation, can be, um, it, it is, is a project within an HR team or managing marketing campaign is a project, marketing project within the marketing team. And you can utilize Jira Core to create that particular project. Now let's get into more detail about um, the types of Jira projects. So before we get into details of the types of Jira project, let's see what are the three Jira applications available. So the first Jira application is Jira software, as we did a bit of introduction previous slide. Second is Jira core. And third one is Jira service desk. Now Jira software is ideal for software development project. So depending on which team or which business unit you are working in, uh, in, a, in an organization, Jira suits um, the needs of each business unit uh, and it's highly customizable so you can you know like easily easily customize it to meet the requirements within your team or within your business unit so Jira software is an ideal um, software for developing or for creating any software development projects so develop for example development of new software applications or apps etc you can use Jira software to create um, Jira software project and track your development activities within that project Jira core is ideal for business projects so for example you're working on um, in HR team or marketing or finance then you can use Jira core to create the business projects for example HR employee onboarding can have a business project project um, or you can have a business project for finance uh, managing procurement process for which you can use Jira core then Jira service desk is ideal for any help desk application for example you're working in IT help desk managing internal service requests from um, the team then Jira service desk is an ideal application to track those sort of requests so with Jira service test you can create IT help desk project and the team or your organization um, um, members in the team can raise their requests and you can track the progress of those requests with the IT help desk project that you create in Jira service desk application now what makes up a Jira software project so Jira software project 
consists of users so any so any any project be it software project or core or um, IT help desk it consists of team members um, then the second component would be the issues so all the projects in Jira will have some issues like tasks story bug subtask the issues might vary uh, depending on which version of Jira uh, software you're using um, but issues in all will be common across um, all the projects will have the issues in Jira then there will be workflows in all the different versions of Jira software or di different Jira projects that you will be using so workflows are the process to manage tasks uh, from initiation to completion then versions or releases are more specific to Jira software project so if you are developing something in the development team you would uh, you would be releasing it to the production so versions or releases are used to manage those that development effort and release it into the production then components is again more relevant to the software project so software components could be like UI or database which give you flexibility to track the progress of a particular component uh, development so for example there are particular tasks associated to a component then you can track um, the uh, track the uh, progress of that component how that component is progressing in terms of development and then it it, it is also um, very helpful to classify different issues in um, in a more structured way rather than having everything um, as uh, not defined as a component then data is another important aspect um, of any project so whenever you are populating data in the issues that you're raising or any activities that are going around the issues from uh, say for example from uh, start to finish then any data that is being captured is the key thing to report how the project is going and what's the health check or what's the status of the current project so that is pretty much all about um, what a project is in Jira uh, we have covered different software uh, different Jira software versions available and which software version is suitable for which particular team in your organization thank you